What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Roll Up and Rant. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I'm rolling up, and I'm about to rant. What I'm about to rant about today is uh, these dumbass rappers. Okay? And I rap myself. I love hip-hop music. I love rap music. Let's get that out the way. I'm a 75 baby born in the South Bronx, coming up in the South Bronx where it all started. Okay, I am hip hop. Okay, so before we, uh, you know, go any further, I'm not hating on all the hip hop. Okay, but I am going to hate on the dumb shit. And I'm going to rant about this. You rappers dying. You rappers out here talking all this negative shit. Okay. And if y'all wondering, oh, we never heard of you, where's your album, blah, 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 where's your song, blah, blah. I don't have, I, I have stuff that me and my brother Jay did that I never put out. I never put it out because I was always conscious, not that I'm better than anybody or I'm fucking uh, uh, Gandhi or anything like that, but I was always conscious that, you know what, if I put out this copycat negative energy music, talking about busting guns, killing dudes... Uh, sleeping with other people's wives, selling drugs and poisoning my own community from the inside out. If I do that, I'm contributing to the problem. Even though I would personally get wealthy, my, my financially, I would be better off. But at the expense of what? At the expense of my so-called people. Putting that negative energy, the negative vibrations into the atmosphere programming people to be suspicious of each other, to be untrusting of each other, to just be mad with each other for no reason. Just walk down the street and look at somebody else who looks like you and say, you know what, I don't like him or I don't like her. F that individual. You know, I should rob them or hurt them or, or whatever the case may be. And, and I'm not saying that this wasn't going on before hip-hop music. Yes, it was. But hip-hop music absolutely boosted that type of energy into the stratosphere. And they did it worldwide. Okay? And it mostly affects us. I don't care how many Caucasian people or Asian people or Indian people listen to it. They don't grow up in the same energy. So since they don't grow up in the same energy... It doesn't affect them the way it affects us. They can listen to the nigga shit all day long. Kill, 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 shoot them up, gang, bang. Sleep with somebody else's girl, da, 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 all day long. And go out here, go to school, go get their engineering degree, go get their nursing degree, whatever they doing. Their education degree, their fine arts or dance. And totally put that in the category of entertainment. Okay, which is something that blacks and Hispanics cannot do. We don't understand that that music is supposed to be just entertainment, just like a horror movie or action movie. Everybody getting shot up and killed. And at the end of the day, you laugh, turn around and hug your girl, whatever, and, and go to sleep or whatever you do. Okay? But our culture takes this entertainment literally. Our so-called culture, by the way. We don't have one, but we claim we have one. Okay, this, this gang-banging, hip-hop, drug dealer culture. Foolishness. Okay? And everybody, oh, why are they killing each other? All they talk about is killing each other. If all you talk about is killing somebody else, poisoning your own people for personal financial gain, stealing somebody else's girl, Showing off your material possessions to people that have way less than you. And if this is all you talk about, yeah, people going to try you. Yeah, people going to get jealous. Yeah, people going to test you. Yeah, people, you're going to make people sad. That's the bottom line. Anger comes from sadness to a certain degree. People are sad and hurt, and then it manifests to anger. A guy laying there struggling to make ends meet, his girl watching you, Throwing up the reins and uh, and she's mouth all open because she's not mature enough to understand the difference between real life and fantasy. She looking at you 
because you ain't flying high out to Sandro Pay with the diamonds and all that shit, the illusion that they presenting. And you sitting there in your personal relationship having issues you shouldn't even have. Y'all got a roof over your head. You got food to eat. You got a car to drive. It may not be a Lambo or Benzo, but it gets you from A to B. And you have love in your lace. That's it. But these rappers want to interject negative energy into our community and into our families and then want to turn around and go, oh, woe is me. I don't know. Rap is the hardest job in the world. We, we, any day we could go out here and die. Yeah, because you projecting death energy. You projecting negative energy constantly on repeat. Radio stations helping you project this energy. Yeah, it brings you attention and brings you money because people like negative. People are drawn to negative shit. But then what happens when the when it gets too hot in the kitchen? You start a fire, you start a little garbage can fire. Now it erupts into a whole house fire. Now you run around, ah, ah, somebody help me. Well, why you start the fire in the garbage can in the first place? Now you want to talk about holler, help me, my house burning down. They shooting at me, they shooting up my car. They trying to sleep with my wife. They trying to sleep with, they trying to steal my girl. Promoters and accountants and businessmen, all type of shady people trying to steal my money. Well, look at the energy you putting out. And what has gangbanging ever did for our quote unquote community? Where's gangbanging university? Where's the Crip hospital? Where's the blood bank? Where's the GD and BD library? Where can I go to gangbang in savings and loans to help me start a business? What do y'all do for our community? Our so-called community? What do y'all do? Oh, we rally together. We, we we play football games with the kids. We <clears throat> we give turkeys away on Thanksgiving. That's it. That's all y'all do. For all the negativity you do, you hand out turkeys on holidays. You give out a couple of Christmas gifts. You hold up a couple football leagues, a couple basketball leagues, and, and, and you're supposed to be, oh, that's your contribution. After all the negativity you've done, after all the carnage you've done, this is your retort. Oh, we here for the kids. How? And let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all gangbangers this. Y'all so tough. Why the hell y'all always surrender when y'all get outnumbered or the police get the drop on y'all? Why y'all give up? Y'all supposed to be gangbangers. Y'all supposed to be ride or die. Y'all niggas do like this. Go to jail and get tough again in there. With your people. And little shanks and knives to protect your little punk asses. Yeah, I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to follow the three. And I'm going to say that gangbanging shit. It's dumb shit. It's bullshit. And the problem is our people don't become so scared and cowardice. Nobody wants to stand up and tell the truth. Gang banging ain't done shit good for our people. Nothing. It started out good. At least that's what they say. It started out to police the neighborhood. At least that's what they say. And then it turned to what we have now. A virus, a disease from the inside, eating away at our, at our body from the inside out. And go being glorified. Yo, AIDS is the shit, my nigga. Yo, you got to go get that. Go get you some AIDS, my nigga. You ain't, you ain't hard unless you got AIDS, nigga. Imagine us walking around and talking like that. Gang banging is bullshit. And all you rappers just talking constant negativity. You get what you put out. Now, do I still work out to the music? Yes, I do. But we need to understand. Do I still vibe to it? Yes, I do. But we need to understand. It's entertainment. 
We shouldn't be go living by that like that's our daily Bible to go out here and act like a rapper, act like a drug dealer, act like a, a gangbanger. That's done nothing for our people and ain't going to do nothing for our people. Y'all parents out there, go outside and get your kids. Stop being scared of kids. You grandparents, go out there and get your grandkids out the street. Stop being scared. Y'all adults out there playing ball like I do with the with, with the youngsters, the teenagers, and y'all see them acting up, cutting up. Straighten them up. <laughs>